What is the number one reason that sales don't go through? What's the number one reason why people don't accept your ideas when you want to persuade them to do something for you that's going to helpfully uh, make their life better, work with them? Why do they say no most of the time? Hi, I'm Terry Brock, and I've worked with people for many years around the world, 44 countries now, and different places, talking and speaking professionally about marketing and sales technology that you can use. But you know, it always comes down to this important consideration. You've got something you want to sell to people. We all have something you want to sell, whether it's your idea, your product, might be a service, might be you're trying to persuade your spouse to do something, or your best friend to do something there, and you want to go here. But... They say no, when you realize, hey, you really should say yes. There's a reason why. As we look around, so many people that are in sales, and we look at it from a business point of view, in sales, what they do is they say, I've got my sales pitch down, I'm gonna practice it, and I'm going to memorize it and have every point just ready to go, and I will give them our thing, and I can really deliver this sales pitch. And you know what? The people that you're talking to really don't care. They don't care about your sales pitch. I mean, Sparky, that doesn't matter. What does matter is, them. Because think about it for you. Do you really care if I'm trying to sell you, say, a pen? Okay, I got a pen here. Well, this is a nice pen. You can do it. We make you a really good deal today. Here, 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 here you go. You can have it. Part of you is going, hey, 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 stop, stop, back off there. Hey, hey, scooter, back off. Okay, we don't need that right now. Even if I were in the market for a pen, I don't want somebody coming and forcing it upon me. What we need to do, and the real critical difference is you want to be able to not just talk about your stuff, your product, your price. We got the best price in town. Everybody says that. You want to listen to them and then you want to ask better questions. That's important. Write that down. Ask better questions because the questions really drive the conversation. Because if you say, well, what was it you were using last week when you'd had to do this? People have to start thinking, oh, last week I was using the da-da-da-da. Oh, okay. Now that lets you know where they're coming from. And as you ask better questions like, well, what is your time frame on this? By when do you need that? Do you need it by, is it next week? Is it next month? And, and important. And then questions about price. Well, what is your price range on this? From this point to that point? Yeah, it'd be great if we get it for free. But we know we can't do that. But what kind of range are you dealing with and looking at? What features are most important to you? What quality do you need to have in it? You see, what I'm doing is I'm asking a lot of questions that are on the mind of that particular prospect. People want to know, okay, what is it that they're going to do for me? I want you to do this. As you talk to people and you interact with them, I want you to see on their forehead, right here on my shining forehead with my hair, a really good haircut for you today, the letters W-I-I. FM. Now, this is an old one that's been around for about 300,000 years, but it's WIIFM. Here in the United States, we often call that the radio station because east of the Mississippi, radio stations start with a W. That's their call letters. And WIIFM is everyone's favorite radio station. And you know what it means, those of you who've been around for a while, and this is really important. What's in it for me? I want you to see that's tattooed on someone's forehead when you're talking to them. What's in it for me? They're sitting back going, yeah, okay, you got your widget, you got your thing, but what's in it for me? How much is it going to cost me? And why should I buy it from you? And what you want to do is you want to show them you really care about them, that you're there to help them, and you want to make sure it's a good match because you certainly don't want people buying your product or service where it's not really right for them. You want to find that out. It might be right for their friend, might be right for their cousin that they're going to talk to next week and they don't even know they're going to have a conversation where you might be able to help them. You want to be known as the person who asks good questions and then you listen. I like the way my friend Chris Brogan says it. We need to grow bigger ears. Listen more carefully to what people are saying. Listen more carefully to the question they have, the pain level that they have, and then you will make more sales. You'll be able to do it because you're talking to them to address their needs. Hey, I talk to people all around the world on this, and we've got one-on-one -on -one coaching that we do with people as well, and we'd love to help you out if that's right for you, where I can ask questions and find out from you what it is that you're doing. You can just reach me at uh, terrybrock.com. That's the website. All my social media contacts are there. Email is a real good way to do it, terry at terrybrock.com. And Terry is spelled T-E-R-R-Y, and Brock is spelled the right way, B-R-O-C-K. So terry at terrybrock.com. Hey, thank you very much for joining me today, and I will look forward to hearing from you.